Welcome to I Angel Baby Nails channel, the official channel of I Angel Baby Nails. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you share this video. Thank you and get slayed by Angel Baby. Welcome back to I Angel Baby Nails channel. And this time I'm going to be doing a short square ombre set with the glow in the dark and a couple of 3ds so i already cut and shaped the nail already so i'm just going in and prepping it i'm applying my primer i already applied uh, applied the dehydrator already so and in this video i am so so sorry but when i was finished laying my acrylic application and i was doing the filing and the drilling part it did not get it like Literally, her hand was too like far off the camera, so I just cut that out. But um, I did have the acrylic application part, and I had this part, and also applying the 3Ds part. So I'm so sorry about that. I did not realize that so afterwards. But yeah, but still the video is good. I didn't want to just like you know not show this because it's really cute. The set was a, such a cute design. So I'm going in with this pink glitter uh, acrylic and this is from glam and glitz um i love 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 glam and glitz acrylic powder they're really good and then my base pink which is the other lighter pink is more of a natural pink um that is from one of my local supply stores i love it between that a nude and the white those are my three like best best acrylic powders when it comes to the ombres or one of the, uh, you know any kind of design that they're in because the pigment in lasts so long which i love it and of course i'm using my number 14 brush and i'm applying the pink first and then i'm gonna go in with the other pink the base and this just saves time applying the tips first because by the time you go to the next one, it'll be dry and it'll be better for you to lay the acrylic to make that ombre look. Of course, you can go back in with the pink. You know, you can blend it any type of way you want as long as you use the reverse reverse method. And until you're satisfied, then you can encapsulate it with the clear acrylic.
Alrighty, so now we're gonna add the bling. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my DND top coat and I'm just gonna apply it to the pinkies and the thumb just so you can get out the way. Of course, it is saving time. So because we're not adding any bling or anything to it, so I'm gonna let that cure for about 90 seconds. And then again, we're gonna do the same thing on this hand, which is on the pinky and the thumbs, and we're gonna let that also cure for 90 seconds. Of course, you see me just wiping something off because it's all lint, so just wiping it off. And then, of course, I'm gonna add it to the thumb. And then I'm going to be taking my heart on gel and I'm going to be applying a heart shaped bling and I'm going to be applying a bear. So, of course, here is my famous alien light that I love so much. And as we're waiting for that to cure, then we're going to be switching the nails and then we'll be adding the bling and of course I'm going to be taking my actually yeah I took my nail my nail and then my hand and then I put the heart and then I went in with oh the teddy bear Alrighty, and then the index finger, I'm going to be taking one of the pinks from the Kira Sky collection, the designer brushes. Um, it's one of the, the pink colors. And then I'm going to be making just a school of those, those lines, those abstract lines. And then I'm also be going to be taking a gold glitter from that same collection that's called Kira Sky designer brush. And I'm going to be doing that. Of course, before I apply the gold, I took the pink and I used my alien light just to cure for a little bit so that way I can apply my gold so it's not you know too wet and then I'm gonna 
let that cure for about 90 seconds and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other hand and then add top coat. Alrighty, and here is the final look. They turned out so pretty. I love, love, love this set. It's so cute, positive vibes. And also, don't forget, it glows in the dark. Please make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.